rather than asking yourself, is it too late in terms of age, there are other questions that are more relevant to ask yourself if you want to make a career change. And this has a lot less to do with your current age, but more to do with your current situation, your circumstances, your expectations. Number one would be the level of success that you expect from your career change. Let's say that you want to become a pianist and actually professionally play in concerts and in an orchestra. And during your earlier years, let's say you have already had some experience of playing the piano, so you are not completely starting from zero, but you're not really an expert in it. And let's say that now for the past 10 or 15 years, you have worked as a teacher and now you have this really strong intention of becoming a professional pianist. So I I don't think it's that relevant to ask yourself if it's too late or not because no matter what age you are at whether you're 20 30 40 or even 60 or 70 it is not impossible to become a pianist as long as you're willing to learn it and spend time on it and put the effort into it then you can certainly become a professional piano player of course that really de depends on each individual it depends on a lot of things like your talent your grit, etc. But it is a possibility. So now the relevant question is what level of success do you expect? If you're still 18 or 20, then you can very reasonably expect that you can get to a very high level and become one of the greatest piano players in the world. But if you, let's say, start at age 85, then maybe you can become a professional pianist. But you might not be able to get to that level of success as a 20 year old could. But as long as you are able and willing to accept that kind of limitation, then there is actually nothing that stands in your way of becoming a pianist, right? The second question is what kind of risks are you willing to take? Let's say that you've been working as a computer engineer but now you are thinking of switching your career and want to study let's say German literature and you want to become a professor in that area. No matter what age you are at, if you're 30, 40 or 50, of course it is possible to study German literature. You can just go and, um, and enroll for the program, get the degree and then try to get a job as a professor. So the question is not whether it's too late to study German literature and become a professor or not. But the question is, in your particular situation with your circumstances, for example, having a family or having financial responsibilities, are you willing or not to take the risk upon you? And the risk is, for example, not able to perhaps immediately get a job after graduation or maybe making less money than you made uh, working as a computer engineer. Number three is your assessment of cost and reward ratio. At this point in time, in your particular situation, are you willing to spend the money, the time, the effort and the, the energy to get a certain perceived reward? And I think that this has less to do with your age but has more to do with your particular situation, especially your financial responsibilities. Let's say that you are 25 years old and you have been working in accounting but now you want to become a film director. At this very moment, you just got married and you have two small kids that rely on you financially. So on one hand, this possible reward of becoming, of potentially becoming a successful film director is very enticing. But on the other hand, there is also the cost, the cost of making less money in the beginning and maybe having to use part of your savings to uh, take part in the courses, getting your education or your experience in filmmaking and the money that you could otherwise used to support your family better. And at the same time, you might be 70 years old. And let's look at the same scenario. You have been working in accounting until you were 65 and you've not been doing anything for the last five years. And now at 70, you've suddenly thought about becoming a filmmaker. Is it too late or not? I don't think that that question is relevant here. Here you have a possible reward of becoming a filmmaker or maybe making a film for your own satisfaction. And then on the other hand, you look at your cost. Perhaps you are at the point in time where you don't have any financial responsibilities anymore. Let's say that your house is paid off and your children have grown up so they're financially independent. So in this scenario, although you're 70 years old, by pursuing filmmaking, you're not really losing out or sacrificing anything else. 
Number four is the amount of energy that you are able and you are willing to expend on your endeavor. And I think that the question of energy is much more relevant than a question of age because um, one person can be much older than the other person but have a lot more energy. Let's say that you are 55 years old and that you studied biology but now you want to build a second career and become an archaeologist. I'm not certain if there is an age limit to that but I assume that there is not. Theoretically there would be nothing limiting you to study archaeology and become an archaeologist and go to uh, the pyramids and do your excavations and research. But the bigger question is do you have the energy or not? And this is a very individual thing and you have to look at it case by case because there are a lot of people who at age 55 or even 60 are much more fit and are much healthier and stronger than people in their 40s. Or let's say you are 40 years old and you want to go into acting. Of course it's possible. There are a lot of actors that started when they were older and that made a name for themselves. And there are a lot of roles out there for people in their 40s, 50s and beyond. As long as you don't expect to always or necessarily have the main role. The question becomes not a question of age, but the question of you in particular, you as an individual. Do you have the energy to pursue this career path or not? And the answer might as well be yes, because as I said earlier, an increase in age does not necessarily go hand in hand with a decrease in energy. Many people, especially if they reach a certain age, ask themselves whether or not it is too late to change careers and start building their career in a new industry or area. But I've noticed that not only do 40 or 50 year olds ask themselves these questions, but increasingly I've also seen a lot of people who are only in their 20s or early 30s who are questioning whether or not it is too late. So let's begin by asking ourselves what does that actually mean, whether it's too late. There are certain professions, certain occupations which actually give you an age limit. Where you pass that age, you are not able to enter that field. An example of that would be if you would want to have a professional career in soccer at a level where you would be able to play in the World Cup. For that, there is obviously an age restriction. I don't know what that exact age is, but I'm pretty certain that if you want to have that that kind of career then you would need to start very early in your teens at 14, 15, 16 or maybe even that is too late. And if I correctly understood from the website of NASA, there is even no age limit to become an astronaut as long as you fulfill their criteria. So when you think about it, there are very, very few occupations and careers where there is an absolute age limit for you to enter it. So if you happen to want to build a career or start a job in a field that actually has an age limit and you are past that age limit, then I'm sorry to tell you that yes, it is too late to change your career to become let's say that soccer player. But apart from the very few exceptions, there are really very very few occupations that have a strict age limit. So realizing this, what does the question, is it too late, actually mean? It definitely doesn't mean that there is any external party who limits your entry into that new career or field. So if there is anyone who would say that it is too late to change careers, then that could only be you or the people around you who have that opinion. 